Hello everyone. Today's short video will be about the causes of midline diastema and we'll discuss those causes in brief with a mnemonics to remember them too. First, uh, let's see what a midline diastema looks like. As shown in the picture here, midline diastema refers to anterior midline spacing between the two maxillary central incisors. It is an orthodontic problem which is easy to treat but difficult to retain. That is, it has very high chance of relapse unless proper retention plan has been applied. Enumerating the causes of midline diastema, transient malocclusion during mixed dentition state, which is also referred to as ugly duckling stage, tooth material arc length discrepancy, proclination, abnormal frenal attachment, iatrogenic, on erupted mesiodens and midline pathology. These are the different causes of midline diastema. Let's discuss them in short. Transient malocclusion or self-correcting anomaly is the ugly duckling appearance of a 7 to 8 year old child where there is midline diastema and anterior open bite. This corrects on itself once the permanent canines fully erupt and forming occlusion. Similarly, Tooth material arc length discrepancy. Uh, sometimes the jaws are large and the total teeth material is relatively less because of less number of teeth present or due to presence of small size teeth. This results in spacing between teeth and that spacing may be present between the incisors causing midline diastema. Likewise, proclination is also a well-known method in orthodontics to gain space. Also, retroclination of the teeth closes space between them and proclination when excessively present may result in midline diastema. Proclination may also be produced in previously normally placed teeth due to pathological migration of tooth due to periodontitis. Also, gingival frenal attachment or thick fibrous frenal band between the incisors may also be the cause of midline diastema. An iatrogenic, sometimes during the course of orthodontic treatment, as a part of a treatment, midline diastema may result. And this is called iatrogenic midline diastema. Iatrogenic means physician induced or caused by physician. This can also result from faulty and improperly executed orthodontic treatment. And at times, there may be a supernumerary on erupted mesiodens causing the diastema. Also, Online pathologies like uh, cyst tumors may also cause it. Uh. Now let's see the mnemonics to remember all these causes of midline diastema easily. Uh, we can use the mnemonics transient material discrepancy proclined free doctors to take the middle part. Okay, let's imagine a situation to remember the sentence. Let's imagine once all the good quality dental materials were in shortage. So, this material discrepancy was however transient and lasted very short. During that transient shortage, free doctors were proclaimed to use some inferior quality dental materials, which were easily available at that time, instead of halting all the treatments. That was the middle path taken by doctors to provide service even at the time of discrepancy or shortage. Let's repeat the mnemonics. Transient material discrepancy proclaimed free doctors to take middle path. Okay. Uh, I think you can enumerate all the causes of midline diastema and never forget it again after having gone through this video. Give a thumbs up if you like it and stay connected for more. Have a nice time ahead. See you in the next video.